Hey, what's up? It's Nate. I'm online with DoorDash, Grubhub, and Uber Eats. Doing something a little different today. It is currently 8.25 a.m. Turned everything on 8.15 a.m. It's been a while since I did a morning breakfast shift. It's been even longer since I did a morning shift on a weekday. It's actually Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, so I figured I would come out. I was able to get on the schedule and see how it goes. I've already got an order. It was $7 for about four miles from Panera. I already got the food, too. Went in, grabbed the coffee, and grabbed the food. It was ready when I got in there. We've got 3.1 miles to the delivery. So we're going to go drop it off. I'm only going to go for a couple hours. I think I'm only on the schedule until 1030. So about two hours. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it stays fairly busy. I'm not really sure what to expect. Like I said, it's been quite a while since I did a dinner shift, especially on a weekday. Let's go get these bagels dropped off. Okay. Leave at the door drop off easy enough. I wasn't able to record it just because of where I parked and it was in an office building. I wasn't really sure what it looked like on the inside. So sorry about that. There was a hidden tip, $7.65 on that instead of the original $7. So now I'm back into the middle of the zone and let's see what's next. We got an order on Uber Eats. You might have even heard the chime on that last clip. $7 for 2.4 miles. I think I was half a mile from the McDonald's though. Oh, it's from McDonald's. I didn't mention that. Should be pretty easy. Egg McMuffin meal and a sausage McMuffin meal. So let's go get it. Sounds delicious. They were bagging up the McDonald's when I walked in there. We've got, it's not even telling me. We've got 0.6 miles to the drop off. So it's really just right down the street. All right, we got another order from Panera on DoorDash. That sun, man. Sun is terrible. Got another order on DoorDash from Panera. $7 again for 3.5 miles. So that'll be a pretty good order. I'm gonna go grab the food. I hope it's ready. It probably is. I think I see it on the shelf, but it's hard to say if that's mine or not. Okay, we got the Panera. It was not quite ready. They were finishing up putting it in the bag when I walked in. Then I had to wait for someone to actually hand it to me from the other side of the counter. It was kind of a weird situation. We are 3.6 miles to the delivery. Somehow the delivery miles went up because when I accepted, I think it was 3.4 or 3.5, but left, I'm guessing it's just the route I'm taking. This sun is just absolutely terrible. The thing that I thought I saw on the shelf that was my bag was actually just a bag of cookies. So that was, that was my fault. I guess I'm hungry. Like I said, about three and a half miles, hand it to the customer, leave it at my door. We got that Panera dropped off, hand the customer leave at the door. They wanted it left at the door. So that's what I did. Please don't knock, I'm working from home. No problem at all, I can do that. There was a hidden tip on that, $8 instead of the estimated seven that we saw up front on DoorDash. So that's awesome. It's now exactly 9.15 a.m. So that ends our first hour also and puts us at about $22, $23, I think. Assuming that Uber Eats tip comes in. So that's pretty good. That's not bad, better than I expected on a Wednesday morning. So, all right, let's see. Got about an hour left, hour and 15 maybe, see if we can keep it up. All right, so I actually got two orders, one on Uber Eats for Denny's. I'm at the Denny's right now. I don't know if you can see the sign in the background there, but it was like 9.75, going about six miles or so. I took it because two orders came in at the same time. And there's another order, only 6.75 from Burger King, which is pretty much right next door, going about the same area. So it's gonna be six or seven miles, but it should be a total of at least 15, $16, so. I think it'll be worth it, assuming the orders are ready. Denny's is usually pretty good, especially on Uber Eats. The Burger King here is actually very good most of the time. So I'm gonna grab the Denny's, hope it's ready, head to Burger King, head to the deliveries. Let's do it. All right, both Denny's and Burger King orders were ready. I've got them both in the vehicle, 5.6 miles to the first drop off. Okay, got both the Uber Eats and the DoorDash deliveries completed. They weren't too bad. The DoorDash one was a little difficult. I've delivered to that place before. There's no address on the on the building and it's kind of back far off the road. And so you have to do a little simple math to decide which building is the right address. But other times I've had to go there, it was at night and I had to actually call them because you can't see anything. And of course they don't turn any lights on, you know. What do you expect? While I was doing that, I got an Uber Eats, $7 from Subway, about 2.4, 2.5 miles, I think. So I'm at the Subway now. I drove to the Subway and I'm gonna run in. Hopefully it's ready. I do not see it on the shelf. Okay, well, so much for that. The customer had ordered a steak, egg and cheese sub, I think from Subway, and they do not have eggs today. So he asked to cancel. So right now I'm chatting with support because I don't know 
he could probably cancel on his end. The stores, the restaurants never seem to know how to get a hold of support. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be or not. Anytime there's an issue with an order that I'm aware of, they always ask me to contact support or contact the customer. Seems strange, but I do it just because whatever. But anyway, trying to chat with support on Uber Eats and get it canceled and hopefully get a little pay, but wish me luck. Okay, so that Uber Eats order actually got canceled before I even got to talk to a support agent. So calling them is probably faster, but sometimes it's easier to chat, which is what I was trying to do. But anyway, doesn't matter, got canceled. I didn't get paid. That's okay. I didn't go anywhere out of my way to go to that subway. So I guess that's good. In the meantime, I picked up a DoorDash order, 975 for about six miles. Not amazing, but not a terrible order. It might be my last order of this breakfast shift, but I'll let you know for sure. I'm gonna head to the Chick-fil-A. Hopefully the food's ready. That's always the case. I don't probably need to say that every single time I get an order. Just, just know that I always hope it's ready. Chick-fil-A was packing up the order when I went in, so not a big deal. It's not very busy now in the morning, so I actually was able to get to an employee because I've mentioned before, this Chick-fil-A now keep the orders behind the counter. You have to tell them the name if they ever get around to coming over to talk to you. And then you have to show them that you confirm the pickup. I understand why, it just makes it a little more difficult, especially when it's busy because there are Russian orders in and out. I'm rambling, so we're gonna drop it off 5.9 miles to the delivery. So the initial offer was like for seven and a half miles, but I knew I was about a mile and a half away from the restaurant. So I knew it would be about a six mile delivery and I was heading the way anyway. So driving to the restaurant was not extra miles. Chick-fil-A is right in the middle of the zone that I work. So 5.9 miles, let's get it. I delivered the total was 975 on that so no hidden tip or anything it is now exactly 10 30 a.m we're sitting at about 48 49 dollars i think assuming the uber eats tips come through so our morning our weekday mornings like worthwhile i don't know i haven't done one in a very long time but 10 30 so been out for two hours and 15 minutes that's 21 22 dollars an hour i think if my math is right, not bad. I might have to try this more often. I don't know, do you guys do morning shifts? Is it worth it? Weekday, especially weekday morning shifts. I'm gonna call it quits there for this video. So if you have any questions or comments or concerns or anything you wanna say, drop it in the comment section below, please. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more like this and thanks for watching.